So we ended up getting that um, set of drawers from Ikea in the end only because I just need a set of drawers so bad and getting one from Ikea was just the most convenient and quickest way of getting one. Uh, it's not bad actually, um, Steve's putting it together now. It's actually more complicated than other furniture we've bought from Ikea before. So it's taken Steve quite a while to put together. Mm. How you getting on? Wow! It really sticks out, huh? Yeah, it's alright. It's quite it's big. Better. I think it's better there than in the other room. It is big. It's quite big. It's a second time as well. I'm sweating my bollocks now. So it's actually filming day for Nathan. Look, I've set him up with um, <laughs> lights and a camera. Uh, basically, it's science week at his school this week when he goes back, and uh, they have a science competition. So we're filming a science experiment on oil and water. Do not mix. Yeah, they don't mix, do they? And then what is this? What is this called? It's called a lava lamp. Yeah, it's, really it's called cool. a lava lamp really because cool. it looks like lava. And look, when you first put an alka seltzer in, it rises like a volca volcano, like lava. Mmm, very good. <coughs> I'm going to put all of the alka seltzers because it's just going to go to waste. My little scientist. Okay, let's see if it works. Get your lamp. I think it needs to be really dark. I think it needs to be really dark. Whoa. It's my first day purely alone. Uh, Steve's at work, Nathan's in school, so I'm literally by myself. No help. Basically what I'm planning on doing today is um, I've got to pick Nathan up from school today. So I'm preparing mentally in my head what needs to get done by what time <laughs> to be able to make it in time. And I was thinking it'd be nice to walk to the school to get some fresh air, but it's raining at the moment, so I might have to just drive. I also need to pop to mother care today because we need the adapters for, to be able to put the car seat to stick it onto the base of the push chair. We just can't find our old ones, so I need to pop to mother care to uh, to buy those. And um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm so nervous about taking her out in the car by myself, just purely because, you know, what if she starts crying? I'm gonna have to pull over and attend to her. This morning when I woke up, I was sweating thinking about it, like, if this happens, I've gotta do this, and what happens if this, and you know, just planning just planning when everyone left the house and chloe went to sleep i was just so tempted to just get back into bed and go to sleep but if you want to get stuff done during the day you just have to you just have to prepare and time it so this morning as soon as she went down for a nap i was like right i've got a three hour window i'm gonna jump in the shower so i've had a shower I've washed up the dishes, um, I've sterilised, washed and sterilised the bottles. Then I'm going to prep her bag for later. And then I'm going to have breakfast and start getting ready myself. So I'm ready and I just have to attend to Princess. Once she's ready, we can just go. A lot of people think when you're on maternity leave, you're just at home, lazing around in bed. No, that is not the case at all. <laughs> I wish. So we got these... Ikea drawers in the end so it, it's quite good actually so we bought the the glass top which is an extra 15 pounds but it's just nice to have a glass top so you can just wipe it clean look it's already dirty gosh and then it's got these two slim drawers and then this is a quite a deep this is quite a deep drawer look you can fit quite a bit in that and then three regular size drawers not bad I don't know if we're gonna keep it here in between these wardrobes because it sticks out quite a bit but for now this is where it's gonna live morning princess did you sleep well so much for my three hour window she woke up an hour early you okay Bob's still sleepy okay go back to sleep hi so we're en route 
to mother care. So far so good, everything's going smoothly. Touch wood, touch wood. She seems to be okay in the back. And uh, I don't know if I told you this, but I bought this um, rear seat mirror. Basically it's a mirror so that I put at the back seat so I can see her through my rear view mirror. And I got it from mother care and I'm pretty annoyed because um, attached it to the headrest and uh, it keeps on moving so sometimes I can see her and sometimes I can't but she's fine but I know she gets a little bit irritated when uh, when the hat when her hat falls down and covers her eyes she gets really angry so I'm hoping that doesn't happen I timed it well see it's all worth it the organization was all worth it I timed it so we were ready to leave as soon as she'd finished her bottle so I had her changed everything, fed her, so all I had to do was put her in her car seat, put my coat on and then leave and it worked out well. And it's only 11 o'clock, so girl did good. I got the adapters, yay! I carried her in in a car seat thinking I was just going to go in, grab the adapters and go straight out again. Yeah, no chops. It's so hard to go in there without buying some baby clothes. I just got her a little jacket, how cute, and the matching trousers, and then um, these come in, have been coming in so handy, like I've only got one long sleeve bodysuit, so I bought another pack of five, there you go, Steve's going to kill me, <laughs> sorry babe. I couldn't help it, you can't go into like a baby store and not come out with baby clothes, it's just impossible. I am heading to the supermarket, I'm absolutely starving. I'll see you in a bit, bye! We made it back, yay! We made it back just in time for her next feed, oh my god. It was so close, oh my god, she started getting fussy when we were about two minutes away from the house, I was like, yes, wicked timing, so. Managed to get all the shopping out of the car, get her out of the car, and we're here! Look, happy baby! Yeah! It's all about timing. For lunch today I fancied something fresh, so um, I fancied a, a walnut and pear salad, and I've mixed it with some salad leaves and olives with feta and then I've got some chicken on the side. God it's so beautiful today. Look outside, look at the sunshine. Yeah as I was saying look how sunny it is. It's so beautiful outside today. That's my overgrown garden. I really need to sort it out. <laughs> anyway what I wanted to show you is you know we've got these new set of drawers and um, I've just finished organizing it. And uh, I just wanted to share just in case you needed like storage ideas. I bought these organizer boxes. They're called, I saved the packet for you. It's called, um, it's from Ikea and it's called Scub Boxes. It would help if I could focus. There you go. Yeah, I got them from Ikea and they're called Scub Boxes. And basically you get um, six boxes in different sizes. So I've just organized all of Chloe's clothes. Um, I've got, I've got her muslins in there, some going out clothes, more muslins, her bibs, onesies that she can, she can wear but they're still a little bit big, um, and these are the regular size ones that fit her, and then her short sleeve vests, and then her long sleeve vests at the back. Really good, really happy with these. I had some overripe papaya, so I've just mixed it with strawberry to make a delicious smoothie. Um, I wish I had coconut water, but I don't, so uh, I've just added water to it. Gosh, I look extra tired today. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god, papaya and strawberry is the best combo ever. I don't know what it is about papaya that it makes me feel so clean. It feels like I'm really putting goodness into my body. <laughs> it's amazing. Try it. These are the signs that you've just had a baby. Not so bad if I go like that. I should just walk around like this the whole time. No eye bags. Loads of eye bags. No eye bags. Loads of eye bags. 
bloody losing it. It's what happens when you're stuck at home the whole day with a baby with no one to talk to. You end up going a little bit loopy. So I'm just preparing some dinner for tonight and uh, I have pork steaks which I'm just going to marinate. I'm just going to follow a recipe that I found online. I just got it off the Good Food website. It's just really sim a really simple marinade. It calls for um, mustard, olive oil, balsamic, uh, rosemary which Nathan very kindly picked from the garden and um, some garlic and that's it and I think I'm just gonna throw all these ingredients into the bowl and then let the pork marinate in it. So I've got four pork steaks and I've put it in this Ziploc bag. I always do this when I'm about to marinate, it's just so easy. So I've mixed all the marinade ingredients together and just stuck it in the Ziploc bag and I'm just going to marinate it until it's time for dinner. Hello my little Baba, you look so cosy. I put her in her baby seat which is on the frame. Don't worry, I know they're not supposed to stay in this chair for long periods of time, but when I need to do something in the kitchen, I'll just put her in and she loves it because it's so cozy in there. It's like she's being hugged, so. But look, she looks so peaceful. Say hi. I have to show you this because it's so satisfying. So I've boiled Nathan some eggs and as soon as I took them off the hob, I ran them under cold water. And then what I like to do, look, this is so satisfying. So I like to shake them up in the pan. Whoa. How satisfying is that? He's got chubby cheeks and two, three chins. Oh, look at this chubby cheek. Oh no, someone's hungry again. All right, eat I don't time. think I've ever showed you how this beautiful machine works. Honest guys, if you are going to be a mum and you're thinking of bottle feeding, or if you are bottle feeding, this will be the best investment you will ever make. Right, let me show you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit this. I'm gonna show you exactly how long it takes to make a bottle. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So basically you take a bottle and it's set to four, yeah, four scoops, four scoops of formula. You put the bottle under there, whoops, and you press this big button. That's the hot water going in. Then when that's done, you press the button again. And that's the, the cooler water that's gonna cool down the hot water. And that water is actually filtered because inside there's that filter. Nearly there, Clover. Well done, Babs. So that's water done. And then you just get your your formula, which is already measured up. Just put it there. Add it to the bottle and that's it. That's one bottle of milk all done. How long did that take? I'll put a timer just to show how long that took. Amazing! And then you have one happy baby. Isn't it, Bob? Nathan's got in from school and he said he got Star of the Week in his class, which is a, a reward system. And um, what's this on the lens? And he said he got it for his science video that we filmed. Woohoo! Yay! You look scary, look at your eye. So what did your teacher say? Nathan, what did your teacher say? It was brilliant. And then, She's just so impressed. Did you watch it in class? Yeah. And then what did she say? Tell me. She said, it's fantastic. Yeah? Really pleased about that. Um, we did 
we did the same. We did a poster and a video for Science Week about two years ago, and uh, Nathan won. Nathan won the science competition in the whole year, and we were so happy. So I don't think I think they'll give him another child a chance this year. I don't know if he'll win twice, um, but if he does, that'll be so fantastic. A few years ago, we stopped giving each other Valentine's Day cards. Is that bad?